Hey guys, Cheese here, and welcome to another episode of Ark Survival Evolved. How's everybody doing today? I'm having a great day today, and on today's episode, I thought I would share with you guys how I made this behind me. Now, I made this live on stream. I call it the screw. Um, in order to be able to make this, you need to have S+. Plus. So this is not going to work if you're on console, and you need to have your foundation support uh, disabled so that you're able to make floating type structures. But I made this really, really, really cool spiral thing. I thought it kind of resembled uh, like a screw, uh, like a screw screwing into the ground. So it's called the screw. And I'll show you guys exactly how I made this today. I think it came out really, really neat. Uh, I'm gonna do a little fly around of it here in a second. You guys gotta see it when it's lit up at night. It looks amazing. But if you guys like this episode, please do me a huge favor and flex on that like button. Yeah, and for more daily video game awesomeness, don't forget to subscribe. Also, if you guys want to see me do crazy stuff like this live, you should follow me at twitch.tv slash Royale with Cheese TV. And one more thing I want to talk to you guys about. I noticed in my analytics that about 80% of the people that watch my videos aren't subscribed. So if you guys are enjoying the videos, please do me a favor and subscribe to the channel for more almost daily arc and crazy content and there's going to be tons and tons of Genesis content coming soon. All right, let's do a fly around to the base and check it out. All right, now, as you can see, it's super, super round. I've been using that uh, that super round building technique that my buddy Funny showed me. I made a video on how to make these super round bases, and I've just kind of taken that to the extreme. Um, so I made a floating super round platform up here. This is actually all out of greenhouse glass. The idea of this is make it my greenhouse. And then I've made it spiral all the way down uh, using S plus um, sloped roofs. And yeah, it came out really cool. And if you notice this inside pillar came out like super round, which I think is a neat feature, but you guys gotta see it lit up at night. So let's check it out at night. And there it is all lit up at night. I lit it up with a bunch of rainbow colors. We used uh, different colored torches up here in the top, which looks really neat. And down through the middle of the structure, uh, which looks really cool when you fly through here. I used S plus lamps all the way up and just colored them uh, from purple at the bottom to red all the way up at the top. And it looks super trippy if you fly through here and really, really neat. And the foundations like make this cool pattern. I just really think it looks cool. Um, I made this all using a flyer on the back of a flyer. But in today's video, I'm going to be cheat flying just to save time and I'd be able to show you how to do it. But you can 100% make this all on the back of a flyer. And I did it all live over on Twitch. So doesn't it look really, really amazing? I'm so happy the way it came out. It looks super crazy. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to go take you over now into my single player world. And I'll show you guys exactly how you can make a screw of your own. Okay, guys, here we are over in my single player world. I am in creative mode. Again, though, you can 100% do this uh, in the actual game, but for the sake of saving time, I'm just going to be in creative so I can fly and carry all the weight. Okay, so you start like you do with the round bases. You put six triangle foundations down in a, what does it say, hexagon, pentagon. This shape right here, just all touching. Then you're going to use uh, ceilings. I use wooden ceilings so that I can see the lines. And we're going to put ceilings... Uh, just meeting at the halfway point, like this, like this, and like that. Okay, so now we've got six found eight triangle foundations and a wooden square on top. Now this is the part that's a little bit tricky is you have to line up the foundations. Uh, the fence foundations is what we're using now. Now I use vanilla fence foundations. They snap in a particular way that you need. So this is the one part of the build that you don't want to use S+. Plus. Make sure you're using regular vanilla fence foundations also notice that there's three snap points here on the middle line there's a one on the left over there there's one on the right and then there's one right in the middle you want right in the middle so you want to snap one right in the middle there you want to snap one right in the middle going this way you want to snap one right in the middle going this way and then the this way so you're going to make a cross of s i mean of regular Fence foundations. You can do this out of any material. I just think it, it ended up looking really good out of the metal. So I'm using metal for the screw. 
but you can actually do this out of anything wood stone or metal or probably even tech i haven't tried it all right there we go now that we've made the cross now you got to fill in with fence foundations all the way in between so we're trying to get five fence foundations in between over here and sometimes it's a little tricky if you can't get a spot just skip it so like those two spots are being difficult i'm gonna skip them i'm gonna move over here to this side because it seems to be the more that you fence foundations you get in here the more snap points it's actually creating there we go so we got that one and that'll make that one so that's what we're looking for right there that's a completely perfect quadrant all of them lined up perfectly let's go this way okay i've been doing a lot of these lately so i'm starting to get the technique down but the more you do this the easier it kind of gets you kind of get used to exactly how to place them perfectly but as you can see i've gotten pretty quick at it there we go and you just kind of get a feel for where they are nice and boom so now we have a perfectly laid out fence foundation base now it comes for pillars so now you're going to put a pillar on the end of each fence foundation and if it works perfectly if you have your fence foundations in the right spot this is going to make a perfect little mini circle and this is what uh, which makes the inside of the screw or the really really round pillar up okay there we go sometimes it's a little tricky you just got to move around get it in just the right spot if some of these is off if it's not making it in a perfect round circle just pick up that fence foundation and replace it, it means you have it misplaced just a little bit but you pick up the fence foundation and put it back down until you get it so it makes a perfectly round circle as you can see boom there we go crazy crazy super round circle now we're going to start putting uh, ceilings on top of these so i'm going to put a ceiling on top of each pillar now and if you go kind of slowly and make sure you get one on each pillar it's a lot easier than if you have to go back and find the ones you missed i find so it's better to just get it right the first time but now it gets a little tricky because we're creating like a million snap points in here. So getting it in the right one is a little bit tricky sometimes. Maybe we'll try the other way. So let's try to get it. There we go. Yep. Um, it's starting to be a pain, so we're going to have to skip one there. We'll have to come back to that one and get it after. Sometimes it needs that. Sometimes if it just won't go in the right spot, you just have to skip and come back. So far, it looks like we're only missing one, and yeah, we missed one spot, right? Come on, game. Be nice to me. There it is, right there. So now we have a ceiling snapped on top of every single pillar. Now we're going to go out one more layer. We're going to put a ceiling out from every ceiling here. So again, we just take your time, nice and easy, snap all the way around and okay now again this works out of any material so if you think this would look cool out of wood you could do it out of wood stone doesn't matter i just think that the glass is neat you can do interesting things with the s plus glass uh with showing the sides or having no sides or showing one side you can make all sorts of cool patterns out of it um am i missing one inside here game why do you hate me there we go and and am i missing one in here come on oh yeah we were missing one we're missing one right there and boom okay that's layer number two we have a circle all the way around now this is what we're looking like okay we're getting there but you want to go out one more ceiling now so now we want to do again attach one ceiling to the outside of each of these all the way around the circle and this makes an almost perfect, as you can see, it just about connects. This is about as round of a building you can make in art. There's other techniques for this, uh, but I find this one to be actually quite easy and quick, as you can see, uh, once you get pretty good at it, which I've gotten. It's only taken me a couple minutes to make the base of this. And there we go. So now is the interesting part. Now I'm going to make this uh, three... X, uh, S plus extra large walls high. So that's 36 walls, but you can actually make this as high as you want. Um, so what we're going to need to do from here 
Okay, now we're gonna snap a pillar on top of each of these other pillars. So we're just gonna, boom, pillar. We're gonna snap around in a circle. Okay, this one snapped low. We're gonna pick that up. Again, we're creating a million little snap points here. So you guys, everything's gonna be a little bit tricky to make sure it's all on the right same height. But you're gonna definitely wanna make sure these are all the same height as you snap them around. Okay. There's clearly, there's two snap points that are higher and a lower. You want to make sure you're on either one. It doesn't really matter. You can do the higher or the lower, but just make sure they're all the same. So if you're doing them on the lower is fine or the higher this is fine, but just make sure whatever one, they're all the same. So get these snapped all the way around. Okay. Yep. And no higher. Get new. Hey, there we go. Nice. So now we've got those, they're snapped even all the way around. Now on top of that, we're gonna put large pillars now. We're just gonna use S plus large pillars just to help us uh, get up to the height quicker. There we go. Snap some large pillars around, Oop, not walls. Okay, looking good. Oh, I keep pushing the wrong button, just perfect. You know what would be really nice in Arc is if you could just keep building with the same piece. Like if I wanna use a large pillar, and I could just make another one and another one and another one instead of having to push the button every time in your hotbar. That would be really, really great. But unfortunately, you have to keep pushing the button in the hotbar over and over and over and over. I don't know why that's not a thing. It's not very often that you want to just put one wall. You usually want to put a bunch of walls, but okay. Now, uh, I'm going to use S plus extra large walls here. Again, um, I actually found that this works better. So I would use extra large walls here instead of regular walls. Now, you want to make sure they're all snapping the same way. So, as you can see, there's two snap points right there. And we're going to want to get it on this snap point, And we want the walls. The, this wall is facing us. So, we're going to want them all to be facing us. You want them all to be the exact same way. So, we want this point and facing us. This point and facing us. We just want to snap these all the way around now. Okay. Okay. Now, I suggest getting these in the right position without pushing E, because E flips them around, but it'll get you on different snap points. So once you start doing this, don't use E to get it in the right spot. Move your body around instead so you don't end up on the wrong snap point or the wrong angle. So here we go. We're going to snap these all the way around in a circle. Nice, nice. Okay, looking good. Not bad. Nailed it. Okay. Now we've got them all the way around. This is our basic shape right now. Things are going well. I'm going to uh, continue this up to the height we want. We're going to go three uh, S plus extra large walls high for this build. And just for the uh, for the video. But you can go as high as you want. So I'm just going to build everything up to the height that I want. And then we'll be right back. And we're back. Okay, guys, we're back. We're up here at the top of the build now. I, all I've done is raise the walls up to the height I want. So these walls are three uh, extra large S plus walls high. And I've raised the pillar up in the middle just by stacking pillars on top of the rest of the pillars up till it's the same height. Um, I used large pillars for that. Again, just to make it easier. Now we're going to put we're, same process again. We're going to walk around the circle and we're going to put a ceiling on top of each of these pillars. Just like we did down below. So here we go. Hopefully this will be nice to cooperate. We missed one there. Not bad. Okay. Looking great. And. Okay. Oh, we missed one there. All right. All the way around. And again, now we're going to keep going out like we did down below. So basically just repeating the exact same process. Did I miss one here? I did. There we go. Man, creative building is really fun for showing you guys stuff like this. Okay. Nice. And here we go. Boom. Boom. All right. I'm going to finish this circle just like we did down below. And we'll be right back. Okay, guys, we're back. I have made the circle just like down below. So now we have the big, the big circle. I'm going to put one ceiling in the middle here just so I don't fall through. And then you can look in there and it looks really cool. Super trippy circle deal. Okay, 
Now you just want to put uh, walls around the outside. So we're just going to start placing walls. I went three high on mine, but you can go as high or as short as you'd like on this part. So we're just going to do walls all the way around in a three high formation. Okay, guys, so now I've added the three high glass walls around the outside of the circle. Now we're going to use uh, S plus sloped C uh, glass roofs. And we're going to place these just around you one on each uh, of the walls. So here we go. We're going to and again, I did all this on a flyer live over on Twitch. You can 100% use a flyer. I'm just trying to use uh, I'm using creative mode for the sake of the video uh, in time restraints. But this whole all can be done on the back of a flyer. I did it live. Yeah, a lot of it was tricky. Did it take me a long time? Absolutely. It was some of the snap points tricky, of course. But uh, sometimes that is what it takes. If you want to make a really cool build and arc, um, it takes time. You know what I mean? And um, I don't know. This took a lot of finagling and figuring out. And it came out really, really awesome, though, I think. Okay, so there we go. Now we have a ring of the S plus sloped glass roofs. Now we're going to put a ceiling off of each one of those. So again, back to we're back to the. Uh, there we go. Placing of ceilings all the way around. Not bad. Now, again, you can finish off the top of this however you like. I just thought this ended up making a really, really neat looking pattern. And it really reminds me of the head of a screw. So it kind of worked out perfect. In my build, I actually did the top first and then decided to make the spiral after. It was just uh, the way it worked out. I thought the head top looked like a screw. So then I wanted to make the spiral around, spiral around the base. Okay. Okay. And now that you're here... Now you want to use the sloped, uh, the sloped glass roofs again, but you want to go down, so into the inner part of the circle and build it around. Okay, so now you want to snap again one on each spot. There's a lot of uh, circular snap point working in this build, so you just want to build around like this. Miss the, miss the spot there, and one more. And there we go. The top is all done. It creates this really neat kind of basket looking effect in the middle. I think it looks really, really cool. Um, we're going to come back later and uh, do some work on the the uh, model selecting of the glass. But yeah, this makes like this really, really neat kind of basket effect here in the middle, which looks super cool. So there, the top of it's done. The whole top is completed. Now comes a bit of the tricky part. This is where we want to uh, start laying out the space the screw or the spiral part of the build. Now we're going to start at the top of the, uh, the wooden walls and you want to make sure you're on the right side. If you're on one side, see how that that's going to come out. See how the corner of that is outside of the wooden wall. So that's actually not going to look the way we want it to. You want it to snap so that it's on the inside. See how this one's going interior. Do you see the difference there? It's kind of hard to explain. Yeah, see, there we go. That one's way outside, so that would make the spiral be outside. But we want it to actually look like it's going inside, like there. So you want to make sure you're on the interior snap point. And then you just want to work your way down from there. So you just, uh, there's, if I can pick the right button, boom. And you want to hit there. And you just work your way down the whole spiral. Uh, boom. There's a lot of queuing in this part, I'll tell you that. This is, these snap points are finicky. Getting these just right is a pain. There we go, not bad. And this is what I did all the way down. Okay, so now the math works out if you do this, if you start one every third wooden wall. So if we have this, this one starts here, we're gonna skip this wall, skip this wall, and then we're gonna start one on this wall, like that. And then we're gonna skip, skip this wall, skip this wall, Start one on this wall. And if you do it this way, it'll be uh, perfectly even all the way around the circle. We're going to skip this wall, skip this wall, and we're going to put one here. Skip this wall, skip this wall, put one here. Skip this wall, skip this wall, put one here. And if you see, skip this one, skip this one, put one here. When we get around, skip this one, skip this one you'll see that it works out, the math works out perfectly even. Skip this one, skip this one, and then we'll start one there. So we're back to the original one. And that's it. So now it's just uh, laying out all these slope roofs, which is going to take ages, in the spiraling down pattern 
make sure you have them on the right snap point keep pay attention as you do it because you don't want to go back and fix them they they should be touching here on the corners and not touching on the inside the inside has a little gap and the outside is basically touching all the way around and yeah i'm gonna just uh keep building on these spirals working my way all the way down it's gonna take a while and then we'll be right back and we're back and i've done now it's taken me quite a while but i've spiraled the uh sloped roofs all the way down on every single um one we started at the top so i carried it just carried it all the way around the whole build all the way down to the bottom you want to make sure you didn't miss any this is the point you want before you go any further from here you want to make sure that you did not miss any i learned this from experience i started taking down the wood part which is just basically a scaffolding and I realized I had missed some parts and I had to go back and huge disaster. So make sure before you go any further that you didn't miss any. Um, now down here, it gets a little fiddly. You could either end it right here, which is okay in my book, or you can try now start building down from here with the wood walls, but there's like multiple snap points and it becomes like a big pain in the booty. So as you can see, there's two snap points up and down right there. So you, you can do this and this, and then you can carry, I think I got to get one more even under this. Go under there. Go there. Okay. And then you can carry the, um, the spiral down even further, like down to this level. So if you're going to do that, so that I would suggest doing this depends on how far down you want it to go, basically. But if you want it to go almost all the way to the ground, then you need to do this. If you want it to go all the way to the ground, like even further, you'd have to ghost in right here. Usually, well, that one worked just fine without ghosting. Okay. Make me a liar game, fine. But you may have to, if you're trying to get it to go all the way into the ground, you may have to ghost in little bits. But so basically, you just put in, um, oh, that doesn't need to go right there. Wrong one. And let's see there. And keep pushing the wrong button. I keep pushing the wrong button. Okay. Get there. Okay. And carry this one down. Right, like that. And then we need more more walls here. So this part just gets a little bit uh, tricky. You just got to work things out. And that one's going to actually have a little bit of a gap, but that's not too bad. So we keep doing that all the way around. So we're going to just carry these all the way down. Okay, after some fiddling with snap points and building down with the walls and the ramps, I've able to get all of them to look like they extend into the ground. And now this is the part where you got to be really careful. We're going to start picking up everything that's wood. So we want to be really, really careful. Make sure you don't pick up anything that is metal. You want to be very, really, very, really, very careful. And if you just take your time and work your way around the build, you can pick these all up without ruining anything. This is the, the demo gun, the S plus demo gun I'm using to pick things up. You could do it without, but it would take absolutely ages. See, I just made a mistake there picked up this ramp but you got to be careful not do that if you try to get an angle so if you're so the ramps there i know that so i should be working this way so that i can shoot the wood without having a chance of hitting the metal work around this way okay so we're going to do this all the way up we're going to start picking up these big pieces we're going to just want to pick up everything that's wood but again you got to be very very careful because if you take out the wrong piece you basically have to rebuild the entire uh, wall foundation thing like to be able to put it back. So you have to be really, 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 really careful. If you pick up the wrong ramp in this spot, um, it's going to be really hard to get it back. So I'm going to take my time very, very carefully pick up everything that is wood here. And then we'll be right back. Okay, guys, as you can see, all the wood scaffolding has been removed and we're getting our really, really cool spiral effect. And I really think it kind of looks like a screw. Um, now, you could leave this platform down here. I personally think it looks better without it. So now we're going to take down this uh, original circle that we made. But again, you just have to be extremely careful what you take out. If you take out the ramps at this point, it's going to be really, really a pain to get them back in the same spot. So it to be very, extremely careful while picking up right here. Make sure you don't accidentally pick up any of the not ramps, but the, the sloped ceilings that make up the spirals. If you pick those up, it's going to be a huge disaster trying to get them back in. Um, you'd basically have to rebuild the circle, 
rebuild the wooden walls back up to wherever you need to build. And uh, yeah, it's gonna be a huge pain. So we're just gonna take all of these out here. Not too much work, but again, this the important part here is that you just don't remove any of the spiral. Uh, it's, as you can see, it's not too difficult. Just gotta watch where you're aiming, pay attention to what you're doing. There we go. And then the inner ring is pretty easy to take up. You can just, there's no uh, accidental hitting of things here. So you can just pick these up. Not too bad. Okay, the inner circle has been picked up. Again, you could leave this if you think it looks cool. It does look kind of like a, like a sprocket on the inside. So, I mean, whatever you think looks good for you, you can leave it or not. And then we're gonna take out these wooden ceilings. Again, being very careful where we aim. See how I'm aiming where I'm not gonna accidentally pick anything else up. I'm just hitting the corner of the wooden ceiling. Okay, grab that. And grab that. And that is basic construction complete. Looks really cool. Um, I absolutely love it. And I was gonna show you guys here, let me show you real quick what you can do with the model selector gun and try to make some cool patterns up here. Okay guys, here we are at the top. Um, I got a model selector gun. And what this does with the S plus glass, if I shoot it at one of the ceilings, it allows me to pick what of the frames I show. So I can either show no frames, I could show one side, one of the sides, three sides, a corner, all sorts of different options. But I think it looks really neat if you show uh, one side, is that the right one? Um, me, I gotta figure out which side I'm on here. We wanna do that side. So we're gonna use side D, I think. Is that the one? Yeah, that looks good. And then if you right click on the, that ceiling, now I've set that. Now I can just shoot the rest of the ceilings and it'll just leave the one ceiling for all of them. So there we go, the one side. So there we go, one side, one side, one side, one side. And it cleans it up, it makes it look a little nicer in here, a little neater without all the lines everywhere. And then I think we're gonna do the same thing to this middle circle. So we want the, uh, the same one that basically, we wanna show the side of the frame that carries this line in. It makes it look kind of spirally and cool. So let's see if we can get the right one going. And it's already selected on the right one. So there we go. And we just go around. Okay. Nice. And if you shoot right at the edge of the ceiling you're trying to hit, it makes it easier to hit. Okay. There we go. And we're almost done here. And boom. I think that makes like a really cool looking... Uh, pattern and it makes it look less uh jumbled and convoluted i think it looks really neat it makes it kind of look like a wheel or something like that and you can also look down in between it looks absolutely crazy looking down uh, i like to leave the middle like this you could do the same thing in the middle and continue that in but i love the pattern this makes in the middle it makes this like fancy like uh cog kind of circle-y pattern but i think that's the whole build guys so if you guys liked this video, or you enjoyed, and you're gonna make your own screw, please do me a huge favor and flex on that like button. Oh, you can't flex in creative mode? Apparently you can't flex in creative mode. Just imagine me flexing. Yeah! And for more, am I flying, is that why? I wanna flex, let me flex game. You can't flex in creative mode. Learn something new today. And for more daily video game awesomeness, don't forget to subscribe. And if you guys are looking for your own ARC server like the one I use, make sure and check out my Nitrata link down below. They have really great servers and really great prices and excellent customer service. I recommend them to anybody that's looking for their own server. And if you guys haven't seen me live, you want to see me do crazy things like this live, uh, I did this live all on Twitch. Come check me out at twitch.tv slash Royale with Cheese TV. But I love you guys. I'll see you guys next time. Cheese. And the screw out. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> Bye, everybody.